With 4K content becoming more and more prevalent, the time to buy a 4K TV could finally be upon us. Samsung wants to draw users into its ecosystem for the next television revolution, and with its latest 8 series TVs, like the KS8500 the company sent me to test, it's making one hell of a convincing argument. Let's get one thing out of the way first. This TV is expensive. Like high-end audio equipment, in order to get the most out of 4K content, you need a setup that will put you back at the very least several hundred dollars, but more likely north of a grand. The KS8500 will run you $1,400 for the 55-inch, which is what you see here, and nearly $2,000 for the 65-inch model. And they aren't even Samsung's top-of-the-line screens. The big question is, is it worth it? That depends on what type of user you are, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. As someone who doesn't particularly like to tinker with TVs, one of the biggest aspects I look for is user friendliness. And that all begins with the setup. I was floored by how easy the setup was on the KS8500. Unlike many TVs, you don't even need a screwdriver. Just slide the feet in until they lock and it's ready to stand. Next, plug in your devices, turn them on, and the TV will automatically recognize them. And not just that one device was a game system and the other a cable box. It specifically knew that I had connected a PlayStation and a Time Warner DVR. In real time, it took me less than five minutes to have the TV up and running. I have never experienced a television setup or even any consumer electronic setup, really, that was easier than the KS8500. The design and build of the KS8500 is solid. It's not super fancy, but draws the appropriate amount of oohs and ahs from most people and would look great in any setup. Everything is in service to the screen, like the bezels, which are kept at an absolute minimum, allowing the screen to stretch from edge to edge, which may have even more of an effect on immersion than the curved display that this TV comes with. The small silver strip on the bottom and the LED Samsung logo add a nice touch of flair to make you feel like you got your money's worth without upstaging the real star of the show, which is, of course, the panel itself. One big difference of the KS8500 from most TVs I've used in the past is that there is barely any I.O. on the TV itself. Instead, Samsung offers the One Connect, which is basically a separate I.O. box with all the various ports, HDMI, USB, digital optical, antenna, that you would want your TV to have, save for maybe component. I could not decide over the course of a month whether I liked this or hated it. On one hand, if you were to mount the TV, you would only have to worry about hiding one cable. But if you're like me and prefer to put your TV on a cabinet, you have to allocate room for the one connect. Luckily, it's a pretty small, unassuming box that doesn't draw much attention. Before we talk about the screen, I want to talk about my absolute favorite aspect of the KS8500, the software. Most smart TVs come with software that is undeniably stupid, but the software Samsung has implemented into its 8 series TVs is actually a joy to use, and for one reason in particular. It's simple. All I want from a smart TV is for it to allow me to quickly access the apps I want, and that's exactly what this TV does. Just hit the home button on the remote and a bar pops up from the bottom with various apps and settings. Navigate to the app that you want, press enter, and that's it. The UI is fast and fluid, looks really nice, and is easy enough for even the most tech illiterate person to use. And let's talk about that remote for a second. The design is minimalist, but it has most of the buttons you'll need, plus a cool extra button, which, when pressed, will bring up more information about the show you're watching, including social media feeds, background history, and more. The best part about the remote, though, is that it'll work with just about anything you want to connect to your TV. I used it as my cable remote, as my Blu-ray player remote, and as my TV remote for the last month, and I didn't lose an ounce of functionality. Okay, let's talk about this screen. To begin, the 8500 series offers a curved display, and the idea is to make the whole experience more immersive and to offer exceptional viewing angles to everyone in the room. After a month with the device, I can say that for the most part, those two ideas ring true. The curvature does draw you in, whether you're a viewer or a gamer, more than most flat panels I've used, and there isn't really a bad seat in the house, even if you're on the far edges. But sitting directly in the center is still the best view. When you're on the edge, particularly at night, the TV's side lighting becomes more apparent and can muck up a darker scene in a show or movie. 
Unsurprisingly, image quality is excellent with this television. But like a fancy pair of speakers, the KS8500 is at the mercy of the source material. It can only do so much with Time Warner Cable. UHD streaming is a little bit better on Netflix and Amazon. It looks great, but the jump from the 1080p to 2160p isn't quite the same leap for the eye as standard to HD. But if you give the KS8500 a proper UHD Blu-ray, it absolutely shines. Not only is it 4K, but it also supports high dynamic range, or HDR, which is a fancy way of saying this TV can display a wider range of brightness and colors. Again, it's incredible when the source material is up to snuff, but on a YouTube video filmed with a DSLR, for example, the various HDR modes that the KS8500 utilizes could make the scene look completely unrealistic. Again, if you put in a 4K Blu-ray, or even a standard Blu-ray, the colors of Guardians of the Galaxy or the wide vistas of Sicario are absolutely breathtaking. In order to get the most out of the TV, though, you have to be willing to tinker, and the KS8500 lets you do that even if it is a little daunting at first. There are several different picture modes, including standard, natural, movie, and dynamic, as well as three special viewing modes, sports, gaming, and HDR+. HDR+, was, for obvious reasons, the most interesting of the bunch. Whether you're watching HDR content or not, the HDR+, mode enhanced the colors on the screen, though things could get a little unrealistic when paired with the dynamic picture mode, depending on the video source. When you do find the right settings, the result is fantastic. I can't say if it's better or worse than other 4K TVs in a similar price range because I simply don't have the experience, but I can say that if you buy this TV, you won't be disappointed in the picture quality. Let's get back to that question of worth. Is the KS8500 worth $1400? If you want a TV with a phenomenal immersive 4K HDR display and have a healthy stash of 4K Blu-rays, a premium Netflix subscription, Amazon Prime, and are on board for 4K gaming with the Xbox One S, or plan to hop on soon with PS4 Pro, then yes, the KS8500 is a great TV that is ready for the future of television. If you're not ready for the future of television, like most content providers aren't, then the KS8500 is merely a very nice TV that wouldn't live up to its potential in your living room. In that way, this TV could be viewed as an investment to be ready for the future that is coming. If you don't care about the future, just wait until it becomes the present. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Pace Tech for more coverage of today's best technology.